students hope you all are fine at your home so today the topic which we going to discuss is the deforestation in the previous class we have discussed about the ozone depletion so let's start with our topic it is deforestation so deforestation means the removal or there is a decrease in the forest cover there is a decrease in the forest cover on an area is said to be deforestation cutting of trees is said to be deforestation so if you look centuries over century in 1900 the forest cover was supposed to be 7000 million hectare by 1985 it was reduced to 2819 million hectare and by 2000 century it is reduced to 2400 million hectare so you can see there is a major decrease in the forest cover and why this uh, decrease done because of the human activities so we'll discuss about the causes of the deforestation next is the causes of the deforestation so in that first we will discuss about the jhum cultivation what is jhum cultivation right so in jhum cultivation the people used to select a particular land they grow the vegetation over there okay once the plantation or vegetation or you can say your particular crop is get matured is get matured they harvest it they harvest it and after harvesting they burn the remains of the crop so what they will do they select a particular land area in the forest they grow their vegetation after the maturation of that vegetation they harvest it and after harvesting the grains they burn the remains of the crop so what will happen it will produce ash and ash is rich in potash which increase the fertility of the soil increase the fertility of the soil so beta aapko samajh aaya jo tribal people hain ya earlier times mein kya hota tha jo log ek jagah se dusri jagah travel karte the wo forest mein ek particular land ko select karte the वहाँ अपने क्रॉप को कल्टीवेट करते थे कल्टीवेशन मेच्योरेशन के बाद उसको हार्वेस्ट करने के बाद जो प्लांट्स के रिमेन्स बच जाते हैं वो उनको बर्न कर देते थे बर्न करने के बाद क्या होगा क्या प्रोड्यूस होगी एश प्रोड्यूस होगी एश इज रिच इन पोटैश विच इंक्रीज द फर्टिलिटी ऑफ द सॉइल नाउ दीज पीपल लीव दिस लैंड फॉर टू टू थ्री ईयर्स ठीक है उस लैंड को वो छोड़ के चले जाते थे किसी और जगह पर उसे क्या होगा naturally that soil will contain the fertility microorganisms isn't it so jo decomposers honge wo decompose karenge organic matter ko aur soil ki naturally jo soil fertility hai wo increase hogi clear but ab kya ho raha hai now what happens people due to increase in the population there is a increase in the demand for the crop isn't it so you need more resources so the people instead of leaving that a particular land for 2 to 3 years they will not leave that land they will continue grow the vegetation which results in the deforestation and it will result in this uh, decrease in the soil fertility clear so with a, they are not leaving the land for 2 to 3 years they are cultivating they are harvesting they are burning that remains and again they are cultivating on the other land and again coming back to that particular land in a short period of time clear so that is jhum cultivation and this technique is also known as slash and burn technique or cultivation clear beta now this is the first topic of for the deforestation next is the construction of the next is the construction of the dams for construction of the dams for the generation of electricity you need a large area so deforestation is done over the large area next for wood industry 
paper industry you require timber and that you will get from the forest cover so that's all the technique for the or these are the causes for the deforestation theek hai there are a lot of uh, you can say there are a lot of causes for the deforestation so these are the major one the next is effects what we will discuss effects what do you mean by effects so due to deforestation what will happen to the environment that's supposed to be effects which is caused by the deforestation so the first effect which is caused by the deforestation is global warming global warming which we have discussed in the previous slide because if there is no tree then in the environment co2 will be more that leads to the increase in the temperature globally so that's supposed to be global warming next is the drought condition since there is no pl plantation no vegetation so the after the rain how plant will retain the water in the soil so soil is unable to retain the water for the longer time in the absence of the tree so there will be drought condition and flood condition also in the heavy rains flood the same thing if there is no plant over a large area the rain after the raining that uh, water will run off that will not the soil will not retain that particular water for the longer time so that results in the flood next there is a decrease in rainfall you know it very well that plant transpirate or loses its water loses its water in the form of vapors that is known as transpiration so suppose this is a particular tree okay and these are the roots of a plant so on this particular aerial area of the plant the water will evaporate in the form of vapors and it will go in the atmosphere there it will condense to form cloud and that will precipitate as rain so if this process does not occur there is a decrease in the rainfall clear so this all the effects of the deforestation clear beta the next is what are the contribution of different individuals in protecting and conserving the forest so we will discuss the contributions contributions what are the contribution of different individual in conserving and protecting the forest the first interesting story in 1731 there was a king in jodhpur he want to construct a new palace so he ordered his ministers to arrange the wood for the construction of that particular palace clear so he called his ministers and instructed him to arrange the wood so these ministers and workers they went to the forest and this particular forest was inhabited by inhabited by bishnois are you getting me there was a king ek king tha beta jodhpur mein usne apne ministers ko workers ko bulaya aur kaha ki mujhe ek new palace construct karna hai uske liye mujhe lakdi chahiye ये मिनिस्टर्स और वर्कर एक फॉरेस्ट एरिया में गए जहां कौन रह रहा था बिश्नोइज रह रहे थे ठीक है सो दे स्टार्टेड दे स्टार्टेड टू कट द ट्रीज बट देर वॉज अ लेडी कॉल्ड अमृता देवी शी केम टू द फॉरेस्ट दैट पर्टिकुलर एरिया वेयर दे आर प्लानिंग टू कट द ट्रीज शी केम एंड शी सेट If you want to cut the trees before cutting the trees, please cut me. So these workers do not show any kind of pity on that lady. They cut the trees along with that lady. And now this contribution of the Amrita Devi is being honored. Is being honored as Amrita Devi. Amrita Devi. बिश्नोई 
वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन अवार्ड ठीक है गवर्नमेंट ने अब डिसाइड किया है दोज इंडिविजुअल हु कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग देयर लाइफ और सेक्रीफाइसिंग देयर लाइफ और डेडिकेटिंग देयर लाइफ टूवर्ड्स दी फॉरेस्ट कवर दे विल गिव देम एन अवार्ड विच इज नेम्ड एज अमृता देवी बिश्नोई वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन अवार्ड क्लियर बेटा सो दैट वॉज द फर्स्ट स्टोरी ऑफ अमृता देवी विच हैपन इन सेवनटीन थर्टी वन क्लियर the next was chikko movement chikko movement you know it very well you have studied in your 9th standard you have studied in your 10th standard in biology that it was famous as hug the tree movement hug the tree movement or chikko andolan in 1973 there person called sundar lal bahuguna Bahuguna. He initiated this particular movement. So, what happened there? Constructor, there were so many constructor. They want wood for the paper industries, wood industry, isn't it? So, they went to the forest cover, and the people like men used to go for the work. And what uh, remaining at home is the ladies and the kids. So, once uh, the ladies have seen that constructor are coming for cutting the trees. they left their home they run towards the forest area and each of them hug the tree clear so this movement was famous as the chipko movement it happened in the rainy village rainy village grehwal district in the himalayas theek hai so that movement was famous as the chipko movement next number 3 J F M as the guideline issued in 1980s by the government the tribal peoples and the persons who were living the tribal communities and the person living near to the forest near to the forest or the villagers which is living near the forest they join their hands together for the conservation and protection of the forest and that particular movement as famous as the joint forest management joint forest management theek okay? hai so in joint forest management who have contributed the tribal peoples or the communities and the person who living near the forest area or the villagers who living near the forest area they have shared their views and they join their hand to hand for the conservation of the forest area so that's all about the deforestation and we have also discussed the ncert question of this chapter so in the next class we will discuss about the next chapter that is heredity thank you so much hope you all are fine at your home see ya